Warhammer 40k Conquest was an exciting part works magazine series by Hachette, launched in 2018 and running until 2020, with international releases ending in 2021. It was more than just a magazine, it included miniatures, paints, tools and everything needed to jump into Warhammer 40k hobby. Conquest was perfect for beginners, delivering all the essentials to build and paint two full armies, Ultramarines and Death Guard. Subscribers not only received incredible models, but also learn key painting techniques, explore the rich lore of the Warhammer universe and master the game's rules, becoming skilled hobbyists by the end of the series. Thanks to the fluctuation of the warp, I came into possession of the very first Conquest magazine, and today we will open it and see what's inside. As you can see, the magazine looks very old, it is kind of in a poor shape by now, <laughs> slightly warped and tilted. And we have some minis over here, some paints, there is a brush, and some advertisements on the back of it. So let's go ahead and open the package. Here we go. So we got the magazine itself, and I'm going to show you a magic trick. Quite neat, huh? And we have some stuff over here. Let's start with this one. So it is a box with three paints, of course, McCraig Blue, Abaddon Black, and Retributor Armor. I'm not entirely sure if these paints are still alive, but I have a fun device that will actually try to reanimate them. Then we have a sprue. This is a sprue with uh, three intercessors. Classic sprue. I think this, the start or the paint box had the same intercessors as these ones. Very, very nice. Three bases and a brush. Took me a while to liberate the brush. It says starter brush over here. And it is really a starter brush. But it's good enough to paint the very first minis for the beginners. And now let's take a look at the magazine contents itself. They promise us to introduce us to Space Marines. Battle for Luna is described here and uh, some information about intercessors. Let us take a look. So this is the very first issue and they start from the beginning. The 41st millennium. The Emperor. Dark Imperium. Some narrative campaigns happening. This magazine was released one year after the release of the 8th edition and uh, we all remember that it was the very beginning of the 8th edition and the end of 7th edition when the plot events started to move forward. So Warhammer became kind of plot driven. And that is why we have this Dark Imperium here. And of course there is Cicatris Maledictum, Empire Torn in two. They describe us how this is Cicatris Maledictum, Holy Terra, and Imperium Nihilus. They explain us all about that. And here they tell us about the Space Marines. So this magazine is actually quite cool compared to the Combat Patrol magazines because it has seemingly way more lore, which is interesting. Thousand chapters, they explain us how the chapters look like, and here come the ultramarines. All sorts of ultramarines. How do you distinguish them by the company? Marnius Kalgar. And here is Battle for Luna. Very, very, very nice. Some really beautiful pictures of huge armies over here. Space Marine Intercessors, these are these guys that we got in this magazine. They explain us what the MK-10 power armor is, how to build the Intercessors. All right, here we go. Clipper safety, very important. Very straightforward builds. As you can see, nothing really special is here. These intercessors are really, really easy to assemble. And I'm pretty sure they're push fit because you see there are a bunch of pins and holes over here. 
So you don't even need glue with these ones. And that is why the glue was never provided. Further on, coming the instructions how to paint them. So this kid looks happy painting the Space Marines. I wonder how much they paid him to do that. Base coating, then Abaddon Black for smaller details, and then the Retributor Armor. So and in the end you're supposed to get this kind of end results. And here comes the tutorial of how do you play the Eve of Battle. And some mission briefing. Battle for Korvon 2. Ooh. So these lads that we are supposed to assemble in this magazine are supposed to fight against Death Guard that is gonna show up in the magazine number two. As you see, there is a bunch of bunch of uh, bad boys over here in the second magazine. And of course, there is some ad. Very, very neat. And uh, they show us what is gonna be in the following magazines. Issue 2, Issue 3, Reavers, some Death Guard Plague Marines, some Paints, some Dice, and even some sort of uh, Playmats and Rulers. What can we say regarding the Conquest magazine? It looks like it had a bit more lore than Combat Patrols. Combat Patrols is more about assembling and um, painting the minis and probably more about uh, using them on the battlefield. So they are more into the gaming part of the hobby. Conquest, seemingly, at least from the first issue, looks like uh, it is containing a little bit more lore. And that is why I have procured myself a bunch of uh, Conquest magazines without minis. So I can take a look and maybe tell you guys more about them at a later point. But that is gonna be it for today, my friends. Let me know in the comment section below. Did you have a possibility to purchase Conquest magazines? Did you like them or not? And um, if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel to get notifications about further videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Max is out. Take care. Bye.